A new unconventional horror thriller's out. I guess these are being referred to as elevated horror. And it's wild, it's bonkers, it's crazy, it's, dare I say, cuckoo? The title of the film. And I'm going to talk about it in a spoiler-free review. Let's begin. Cuckoo stars Hunter Schaefer as Gretchen, a 17-year-old girl who's been whisked away to a remote location in Germany where she's going to stay at a resort with her family. Well, with her father at least. Her mom's out of the picture, and now she's got to deal with the stepmom and her daughter. But they're not really so much of an issue as the resort itself. <laughs> you see, strange things are happening up in these German mountains. And Gretchen's having a hard time communicating that with others. Let me pump the brakes for just a second, ask you to subscribe to the channel. If you would, please, I would appreciate it. Even throw a like on the video if you want to go that extra step. Only, only if you feel comfortable doing so. Let's keep going. Schaefer and the owner of this establishment, played by Dan Stevens, are really the show here. Dan Stevens is particularly having a good time as the owner of the resort. He's a very mysterious individual, to say the least. There are supporting characters throughout, but really, it's resting on the shoulders of these two performances. And in that sense, it's working. They're doing a great job. Hunter's putting in the work. It's coming through in the performance. And her character, Gretchen, is taken through the ringer. I'm not going to go any further into the plot, because the movie kind of rests upon you figuring it out as it goes. It's a thriller, to be sure. There are some horror elements, there is some violence, there is some gore, but for the most part it's unraveling a mystery. The cinematography is wonderful in this movie, it's definitely not digital, it's shot with some real ass cameras for once and you can tell. It's a period film, I'm not sure where to place it as far as timeline, I, I would guess in the 80s, maybe, maybe 90s somewhere, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm terrible when it comes to dating films, but uh, yeah, there's no smartphones in this thing. It's pre-smartphone. We'll just go with that. If you've been following my channel, you know that these elevated horror films could either be a hit or a miss for me. I did not like Barbarian at all. I did not like Long Legs recently. But in the past, I've enjoyed films like It Follows, Midsommar, Hereditary. So it's not all or none for me. It's very much a case per case basis. And with Cuckoo, it hits a lot more than it misses. I enjoyed this film. I'd recommend this movie if you like these elevated horror kind of flicks. It definitely has a slower pace pace to it, but I never found myself bored like I did with Long Legs. It definitely gets a bit in the weeds when it comes to the story and what's really happening at this resort. You're gonna have to think on it for a day or two, maybe converse with a buddy. But these are the kind of movies I enjoy, where there is enough here, it makes enough sense, I can see how it would play out, where I can go, yeah, okay, I can, I can have a conversation about this, I can enjoy this, and I'm not getting frustrated by any of it. I also think it helps immensely that there are some funny angles to this, there is some comedic moments. I think there could have been even more to help lighten the tone up, but the few times they're there, they are fun, they got a chuckle out of me, and it kind of lightened the load a little bit. There definitely seemed to be some inspiration taken from The Shining in this movie, much like with Long Legs recently. I'm getting shades of The Shining here. It takes place in this remote resort. We have the wilderness landscape, granted it's summer and not winter. The way it's shot, the way the characters interact with each other, it's all giving me a Kubrick vibe and I'm here for it. The movie's just over an hour and a half. It's rated R. There is swearing, there's violence, there's some gore. It's not over the top by any means. There are some pretty intense moments though, and it does not rely on a lot of cheap jump scares. There might have been one or two, but they felt earned. They were warranted in this film. I'm having a hard time coming up with any real misses, to be honest with you. I enjoyed this one quite a bit. Obviously, if you're watching, you probably know yourself well enough to determine if this is going to be the kind of film you think you'd like. If you've been impressed by some of the movies I've talked about in the past, then yeah, I think you'll have a good time with this. If everything I've mentioned so far has been a huge miss for you in this A24 neon kind of new genre that's cropped up in the last decade or so, then yeah, I, I don't think you're going to like this one. But for me, it definitely worked. I was impressed with the characters. I was impressed with the plot, even if it was a little little hazy when it was all said and done gave me enough to fill in the blanks and at least enjoy the ride and not be frustrated along the journey all right those are my thoughts on cuckoo a fun time at the movies gets in and out pretty quickly and i think you'll be impressed if you like these types of films let me know in the comments please like the video again think of subscribing to the channel i post movie reviews every single week would love to have you stick around. If you really like my stuff, I would appreciate the support on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. 
Tons of exclusives there. I recently did an exclusive for Kung Fu Hustle. I reviewed that bad boy, loved that film. Just randomly talked about it. That, that's what I do, just randomly review things sometimes. And I have a brand new second channel, Adam Does Rants. So lots of places to find me. Hopefully I see you around. All right, take care.